Hello and welcome to the first of many, or at least the first of one YouTube videos by Nick Turner uh, talking about Fusion 360. The task that we're going to talk about today is creating a thumb screw adapter plate for a quarter inch thread cold shoe adapter. I had a 3D printed camera plate that I wanted to stick a quarter inch thread through and then be able to tighten it by hand so that I could fix a camera head and then the camera to this 3D printed camera plate. But I could not find a threaded bolt with quarter inch thread that was long enough. However, I did manage to find a cold shoe adapter which would give me the same effect. Let's have a quick look at that product on Amazon. So this was the cold shoe adapter that I bought and so you can see that it is a lengthy quarter inch screw with a metal plate at one end. Let us have a quick look at the product itself. So here we can see the the plate, uh, the, the here we can see the actual piece in, in reality and um, in terms of the thread, so the thread is uh, 5.9, 5.8 millimeters wide and uh, then this plate here at the back uh, that comes out at uh, 18 millimeters. I ordered the cold shoe adapter from Amazon and it arrived and it was good but what I wanted to do now was create a finger friendly thumb screw plastic plate that I could slot the cold shoe adapter into so that it would make it nice and easy and comfortable for me to tighten this uh, by hand. So let's hop into Fusion 360 and have a look at creating a finger friendly thumb screw plate for the cold shoe adapter. So into Fusion 360, we're into a fresh new document and we'll create a new sketch by coming along to the toolbar and say, create sketch. Now we choose a plane on which we want to draw that sketch, which will be the ground plane. And then we are going to create a circle and I want to control where the diameter, where the center of this circle is so that we can add it to the origin point of this document. And for that, we'll do center diameter circle right here. Click on the center. And now we need to work out what diameter do we want this circle to be. Now I uh, measured, now let's have a look. So in here, if we were holding the cold shoe adapt, if we were holding the cold shoe plate by itself like this, the dimensions of my fingers are around 35 millimeters. And based on that, I decided that it would be, it would be good to grip and try and twist something that was about 30 millimeters wide. And so we'll make the disc, the plastic, the disc that we're going to print using the 3D printer to be 30 millimeters wide. So we'll do 30 millimeter diameter here, hit enter to accept. Now we will have a hole through the center of this plastic disc for the thread to pass. Now the thread is 5.8 millimeters. But I know from previous experience that with a 3D printer, you, you're you going to get some slop and holes tend to shrink slightly. And so we would need to build in a little bit of margin for this. Now, that being said, I don't want this to be a loose fitting. I want the thread to be very tight it, through this hole. I don't want it to thread it though, because I'm going to need some uh, distance where I can just pop the plate so that it locks into a square retainer that we'll also build. So at 5.8 millimeters, I'm gonna add 0.3 millimeters worth of uh, uh, slack into this. And so we'll create another circle with the center diameter. And this time it'll be a 6.1 millimeter circle, superb. Now for the, for the cold shoe plate, we need to create a square that we can then push into the plastic disc that we're trying to create. And for this, we will create a, a rectangle, but a center rectangle. And we'll choose the center point, which will also be the origin. And we saw that this was 18 millimeters.
we can now create a rectangle with a center point, center rectangle around that same origin point and 18 millimeters, but we need to add again some er margin of error into here. And so I will go with 18.4 millimeters tab over to 18.4 millimeters. And the corners of this square plate are cut and then quite rounded. And so we, if I measure those pieces, we will see that there is about four, like we would need to cut off about four millimeters of each of these edges to create the, the shape that we need. And so to do this, I will grab a, the point, a, a sketch point, and then add one to this line and one to this line. Then we'll use sketch dimensions and I'm going to create a sketch dimension between the point and the corner. And I will accept it with the enter key and another sketch dimension between that corner and this point. And this time, instead of accepting the dimension, I'm going to link it to dimension five so that now this distance will equal this distance. And then I can change this one to be four millimeters. I will now grab the line tool and draw a line between this point and this point. And that is now starting to build the shape that I want to recess into the base of my thumb screw plate. I don't want to do that three more times. So we can just repeat this line around this end center point by going to create and then circular pattern and we're going to get the opportunity to select the object. So this is the line that I wish to duplicate. We're going to choose a center point, which is going to be the origin point. And now if we scroll down in this little window, you can see quantity three. I actually want there to be four. And now you can see that I have got my four corners with a new line. So we'll accept that. And now just for uh, just to keep things clean, we'll go to the trim tool and just trim these sections out because I do not need them on my drawing. And so that is it for the basic plastic disc that I want to create. So we'll accept that by hitting finish sketch. And now we will turn the 3D object, uh, we will now turn the 2D object into a 3D object by extruding it. So we'll go to extrude and now we can choose the profiles that we wish to extrude. I will choose the outermost profile and then the second one and leaving the center hole because that's where I intend to push the thread through. And this, now the first time I printed this, I made it seven millimeters tall. This time I'm going to make it 10 because I want to have a little bit extra uh, material to grip with my fingers. Uh, so 10 millimeters like this, uh, press enter to accept it and that's good. Now the next thing to do is to recess the square, is to create a square recess for the plate. And for this one I will enable the sketch and we can just look underneath the, sh the object and there we, there we can see the other, sh the, other um, the sketch that we created earlier. And so I will now extrude this profile in to the shape that we created. And because we're now moving this into an object, the default operation has moved to cut, which is correct in this case. Now, how far do we want to push that in? Uh, if we push this all the way through and then I just select on this pro this um, face, this body face right here, so that, that has jumped 10 millimeters. And I've decided that I would like to put two millimeters between this face and where the cold shoe plate will sit. And so we'll do 10 minus two and make it eight. So we'll say, okay. And that now would work, but there are two more things to do. Number one, I want to fillet these edges so that it does not, so it has a, so it has curved edges, not, not, not the sharp edges. So for that, we'll go to fillet 
and then select the edges that I want to apply the fillet to, which will be this one and this one. I'm going to apply a two millimeter fillet. Okay, to accept that. Now we can see that inner shape here, that's intentional, uh, that's changeable under the display settings and I could make that to just shaded and then we would only see the object uh, as as we would see it. I could turn that sketch off and then there is that pla there is that shape that we've just created. But I do like working with the hidden edges visible. So shaded with hidden edges like that. Now, the last thing I want to do to my to this uh, finger thumb screw adapter, thumb screw plate, is uh, add knurling to the edge. So to give me more purchase and ability to uh, grip this and s tighten it so that I could keep that camera in the right place. And this time I'm going to create, so we'll, uh, we'll hide the body, we'll enable that sketch, but I want to create a new sketch on the same plane. So actually we'll hide sketch one for the minute, We'll do a new sketch. It's going to go onto the ground plane. I do want to be able to see sketch one. And this time we're going to create a circle, another another small circle, but this time it's going to be on the uh, edge of the large circle that we started with. And I'm going to make it two millimeters. And we will repeat that several times around that center point. So circular pattern, choose the object, then choose the center point, which is going to be the origin. And then I can increase this quantity. And in the end, I decided that 16 would be a good number for, for these uh, knurling pattern. Uh, so we'll accept that. And my idea is now that we will cut these small circles out of the edge of the 3D object that we created. So we'll accept that and finish the sketch, switch on the body, and what I want to do now is extrude these circles, but I don't I want to avoid having to select, you know, if I could press and hold command and then select these, but there, there's definitely an easier way to do this. So what I will choose to do is switch off is hide sketch one, and then I could try dragging a box around it, but you see that we've also selected the body. And I don't want to select the body because what I'm going to try and do is extrude. Uh, so what we will do is come up to select, selection filters, and then be very specific about what items my dragged window, my dragged selection window will be allowed to select. And so we can deselect bodies and just make sure that sketch profiles is enabled. And that way I can now drag a box around this. It will only select the visible sketch profiles. And now if I extrude the current selection, this will default action to cut. How tall should we make this extrusion? If we're gonna keep this neat and tidy, we'll make it 10 millimeters so that it's just in line with that top face of the disc that we created. And I hit okay. And there is the thumb screw adapter for the cold shoe adapter with the quarter inch thread. So I'll now export this body into as, a, as an STL, drop that into Prusa Slicer and then throw that at the Prusa Mini and we'll see whether we get a, an item that is uh, usable.